Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying regrouping twice in subtraction. Ok, and here's my first problem, it is 435 minus 279. I have here 435 modelled with these hundreds and tens and ones. And we need to take away or cross out 200, that would be no problem, 70 and 9. But there's not 7 tens here and there's not 9 ones here to subtract. So, this is what we will do. We will regroup twice. We will take one of the tens and break it down into 10 little ones. There. And now I could subtract those 9 ones. But I still could not subtract 7 tens those seven tens. So I need to also take a hundred and break that into ten tens. There. Now I can subtract everything. I can subtract nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine from there and seven tens and two hundreds. So now we can read in the picture what's left. One hundred. 3 tens and 2 tens, 5 tens and 6. Okay, let's do it one more time. 542 minus 188. Here's my 542. And I would need to take away 8 ones and 8 tens. I can't do either. So I do the same thing. Okay, first take a 10. Break it down so it becomes 10 ones. Also take a hundred and in its place will be 10 tens. Now I can subtract everything. I can subtract 8 ones and 8 tens and 100. Okay, so what is left? 300 five tens and four. And now it's time to learn how we usually write these things down, but not quite yet. I wrote these problems, subtraction problems, using this a little bit different kind of notation, just to help you, okay? This is the same problem as here, actually. 542 and we subtract 188, okay? And to start the subtraction, 2 minus 8. We cannot do that, so we will regroup, right? As usual. From 40, we take away 10. We take 1 10, so it leaves 30 here, right? And over here we get 12, like that. Now I can subtract here 12 minus 8. But in the tens, 30 minus 80 doesn't work yet. So now I take away. I take one of the hundreds, leaving 400 here, and then that hundred moves here with the tens, so I will get 130. Then 130 minus 80, I can do that, leaves me 50. And then 400 minus 100 is 300, right? So we get 350 and 4, just like here. First in the ones, 6 minus 9. Cannot do it. Regroup. We will take one of the tens. So that leaves 20 here. We're taking a 10 and moving it here so we get 16 here. 10 and 6, right? 16 minus 9, 7. Now in the tens is a problem. 20 minus 40. I cannot do that. So the same thing. Take one of the hundreds now, leaving 700 here. And the 100 moves here, so I have 120 now. 120 minus 40, that's 80. And then 700 minus 500, 200. So the final answer is 287, right? And now it is time to learn the usual way to write it. When the two numbers are written under each other. And we need to regroup twice. 6 minus 9. Okay, you cannot do that, so you will regroup. Take one of the tens, leaves here two tens, right? 
And over here, instead of 6, we will have 16, 10 and 6. Now subtract 16 minus 9, 7. In the tens, 2 minus 4, I cannot do that. I take one of the hundreds, leaving 700 here. And now over here, there's going to be 10 new tens and the two tens, so it's basically 12 tens. Oh, I could have written it 12, 12 there. And now I have 12 minus 4, 8, and then 7 minus 5, 2. This is the same problem as I had earlier over here. No, here. And now, one more subtraction problem to practice. 2 minus 8. Okay, I need to regroup. I take this only 10, leaving 0 tens. But here I get 12. 12 minus 8, 4. 0 minus 6, I cannot do that. So I take one of the hundreds and I get 10 tens. 10 minus 6 is 4 and 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay? And at this stage, you could now check your answer, right? I'll try to do that real quick. I don't have much space, but I would add 268 and 344. So we get 4 plus 8, 12, over here, 11, and over here, 6. 612 matches that, so everything is correct. A school year in New York has 189 days. 189 days that children go to school. How many days are children off school in this one year, within one year? To solve this, you need to know something else. Right, yeah, Matthew knows. You need to know how many days there are in one year. That's 365. And so since they go to school for this many days, 365 days in a year, we just simply subtract, right? 365 minus 189. And then we'll get the days that they are not going to school. Okay, 5 minus 9. Okay, Matthew, I'll let you do that. I see. You want to do something. Nice and pink. What do you get now? Okay, five there. And what, what about over there? Yeah? Good. Okay, then... Good, that's good. We need to, you know... You keep tabs on Matty too, right? So he doesn't mess up. And then... What comes next? Aha, right, yeah, you go to the hundreds. Okay. All done, he said. I think he got it right. Good boy. And lastly, we have some really hard puzzles. These are hard, okay? But nevertheless, just try them, okay? Pause the video and try solve them yourself. I'll give you a hint. There's going to be regrouping twice in both of these. Okay, let's try solve these together now. 2 minus something leaves 5. Well, there isn't any number that would go there unless we have regrouping. Like I told you, there's a regrouping here. So actually, whatever was here was crossed out and then here became 12, right? So now we can find out that 7 goes here. How about this one here? In the end, when they subtracted, they got something minus 7 equals 6. So in the end, they must have had 13 here, right? But what was there? What was it that got crossed out? You see, it was not 3 here, because it leaves 1 less there. It was 4 here, and then it left 3 here. Right? But from 3 they could not subtract, so they had to regroup to get the 13, so this must have been 7, like that. And then 7 minus 3 equals 4. And then the last puzzle. Again, something minus 7 leaves 7. That must be 14, right? 
14 minus 7. So that means there was 4 here, but it got crossed out. There was a regrouping. And so this one must have been 5 here. Follow me so far? And then 5 minus something leaves 6. Again, there must have been a regrouping where there was actually 15 minus 9. And so something was here, got crossed out. And, okay, in the end they subtracted something minus 2 equals 3. So there was 500, but originally there must have been 6, right? Did I get it right? You can add the check, of course. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.